Hello, welcome back to Access. I'm Rob. Joining us is Holly. Hello, everybody. Holly, this is Lego DC Super Villains, which you got hands on with at E3. I did. When so... did you manage to sneak off and play this? <laughs> I literally did. I think I went off by myself. I think I sent you off somewhere else and I ran over to Warner. Uh, I, I played uh, Hitman to start with and then sort of to cleanse one's palate. Uh, After all the murdering. I came to do more primary colour based murdering in the shape <laughs> of a Lego game, uh, which is this one. I mean, uh, Lego DC Super Villains is, is quite important because it is the first lego game to completely focus on the villains now we had like little villain levels in in lego batman mm -hmm. um but this time it's all about the villains which is really cool because well in my experience being a bad guy is just really really fun yeah they've said uh what well, the development team uh tt games have said that they've actually been able to have loads more fun be really, really creative and just a little bit silly and like that's what the villains like allow you to do which they couldn't do before I mean they did do that before they've always been creative and silly and put loads of really Not hilarious humour in their games but I guess you know being able to be the villains and this is cool take us through this Holly because you love a bit of character customization. yeah so they've, they've sort of dabbled in character customization a little bit in the past but it was more of a free play thing and it was always an afterthought but they have gone in on character customization this time. How do you customize a Lego character? Well, we've the even heads just look the same, right? <laughs> well, we've even sped this up a little bit because it was only a 20 minute appointment and uh, I would have spent the whole time making things. So we're just hitting randomize. But this is crazy. You create a character and this is this villain is sort of the center of the story. It's not an afterthought. You're integral to the story. Right. So we're here now, we're on Striker Island. Uh, commissioners come in been like I need more information on this character which is you it's your character they want more information for which is why you are now being brought out in front of them and the, like you can go back and recustomize at any point okay so you're not stuck with what you create at the beginning well no and, that, with it. and that's always the problem with these games right that allow character customization is you might make a character and then about three or four hours in you're like oh god I've picked the wrong hair <laughs> and you've got nothing to do but reset the game. So you can go back and re-edit your character at any point. You might unlock something cool. And here's you. Here's your badass supervillain, Holly. Yeah, look at my, like... What would you call yourself? Uh, eyeshadow. Bald eyeshadow. Eye, eye, the eyeshadow. The eyeshadow. Cool actually. Eyeshadow. Yeah, yeah. And you've got, you've got a bow and arrow as your supervillain weapon. But here we are, and it was all part of the plan because this looks like Lex Luthor and his faithful assistant Mercy Graves yeah. breaking out of prison Basically. and ready to do some bad evil things. I mean, well, they're kind of doing good bad evil things. Good bad evil things? Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm trying to not give the whole story away. But yeah, you are breaking out to defeat the good guys who are actually bad guys, I but no one know that the bad guys are good guys, good guys are bad guys. <laughs> I did see like a little plot synopsis. <laughs> so basically, just to give you like the backstory of uh, Lego DC Supervillains, the Justice League, which is, you know, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, etc., have gone missing. And in their place, the Justice Syndicate, I think, yes. have arrived. They're like a parallel universe Justice League. And so the Injustice League, which is like, you know, Joker, Lex Luthor and all the cool villains, decided to you know muck around and see what they could do with the and to, to antagonize these new heroes but it turns out these new heroes aren't actually heroes at all and that the the villains actually end up having to save the planet yes. from these new heroes in inverted commas <laughs> you can't see us doing it either yeah. but i think they're technically the crime syndicate but obviously the justice syndicate is how they're posing I'm sure someone will point that out if I'm incorrect. So here we are. This is a, uh, well, this looks like classic Lego gameplay here. We've got a bit of combat, but we're also hoovering up lots of Lego. We're breaking things, we're building things, and we're switching between characters on the fly in order to progress forwards. Yeah, so TT did a lot of, they always do a lot of, we call it user testing, so you bring people in and they feed back on the game. And they bring in like a really wide range of ages because, to be honest, everyone plays the Lego games from you know kids all the way up to big kids. See what I did there? And they said, "Yeah, Lego is like you know, you know, you, you're never too old for Lego." No, you you really are, and it's the same for Lego games. You're actually never too old for the Lego games. So what they've tried to do is make a game that 
it's still really fun for adults and has puzzles and stuff, but kids really can just pick it up and button mash. We said with the previous Lego games, the younger kids were constantly to look at the controller to sort of see what buttons they had to press. Yeah. And they've just made it a little bit easier, especially with on-screen prompts, to, to see you know what your character's special abilities are and when to use them. They just had to make it a little bit easier for entry level, but it remains sort of fun for everyone, which is a really hard balance. And right. they are really cool, the Lego games. We always kind of look at them and think, ah, oh, you know, bright, colourful, kiddie games. But they always do an incredible job, you know, fan service wise. They're always really faithful to whatever they're representing. Like, I really massively enjoyed Le Lego Lord of the Rings. I'm a huge Tolkien fan. Oh, you really are. And that game was really really cool i mean it was it was funny and charming and and very lego but it also was very respectful of lord of the rings they never mock the source material they're always sort of like warmly embracing the source material which i think is a really cool um a, a really good tone to have but yeah being able to play this with you know a younger sibling or your child and for you to both be able to get something out of it i think is is a really cool thing especially if you're a fan of dc and you get to play as all your favorite dc villains it's just a, it's, you know, it's a, a bit of wish fulfillment, isn't it? Well, not only that, the, the the team from TT was saying that this one's also, they've gone real ham on like an open world as well. Right. So you've got like a hub world, which was really, really fun, and you can play around in that. But they've also got like an open world, so, it, you know, Gotham, Smallville, Metropolis, like, you can go to all of them. They basically say if it's in the DC universe, they've pretty much put it into the open world here That's as cool. well. So when you talk about wish fulfillment, I mean, it's just that, that Lego twist on it, but they've, they've gone, yeah, they've done a lot of hard work to mm. make it really feel like Lego. Getting to put your own character in it as well is also pretty cool. So they were showing on a, um, they were showing us backstage at E3 that so previously I was just talking about how you could change your character. So they like unlocked this like beam, like, like right. shooting laser beams, right? And you went into the character creation First of all, they were like, well, let's change, you know, the way the beam looks. So is it just a laser beam? Has it got sparkles? So you can customize your own powers. Yeah, well, it gets better. Then they're like, well, let's change the color of the beam. And we're talking the full, like, full spectrum. And they were like, do you want a yellow beam? You can have a brown beam if that's what you really want. <laughs> this seems like what villains would actually have. You know, they always turn up like, Whoa, ha, ha, ha. look at my amazing new superpower death ray. Like, I it's can brown. imagine. I, I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> My superpower brown death ray. I can imagine them going to like, you know, the villain tailors and getting their villain outfits sorted and would you like the you know, the eyeshadow? Would you like the brown laser? We've got it in brown, we've got it in red, we've got it in yellow and it's just really, really cool that you can, you know, get the full villain experience. Well you can also choose then where you shoot the laser from. Right. It sounds daft, but like, do you want? It? Are you left-handed? Maybe, maybe you prefer. Would you like it to left? come out of your head? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> chest. <laughs> so it was like, you know, it was that level of ridiculousness, and you know, like I've hit randomize here, and it's like I think I've got super speed and a bow and arrow, which, by the way, I would never pick if someone gave me an option. I mean, that's that's quite cool. <laughs> it's not cool, is the, it? <laughs> that pause tells me everything I need to know. Okay, we've got some new characters here. So yes. we've got, uh, this looks like we've got Solomon Grundy and uh, Cheetah, who is... Well done. <laughs> I know my DC. I didn't look up on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> Cheetah, who is uh, Wonder Woman's arch nemesis. Um, so there's a huge roster of villains you get to play. And I guess you can, the whole, you know, the whole Lego thing is switching between characters as you play and each character has unique abilities that allow you to get past certain bits in the game and I, mean, yeah. I guess Solomon Grundy is, is able to hit things hard. Well it's kind of nice that you're allowed to switch back and forth you have to play a little bit of everything experience a little bit of everything. Um, I was again chatting to the the team and like they've been able to get really creative so with Scarecrow for example uh, he has toxin create because everyone's got their own sort of special powers yeah. no special moves that you sometimes need to use in very specific situations to be able to progress. So Toxin Create is Scarecrow's, and this creates like a really big monster okay. that then terrorizes everybody, and they all run away in fear. So if you've got loads of enemies, you'd like Toxin Create. Get the Scarecrow out. I love it. I don't know what I'm doing right now, so this like, what I would, I would call it the idiot button, but it's basically come up and gone, press L3, and we will tell you exactly <laughs> what to do. And I'm like, all right, okay. But then that's so we just need, part we need of that. Cheetah to come up here and do some acrobatic style yep. things because Solomon Grundy, I don't think he'd be able to do that. And that's very that's the traversal that that yep. character wants to do. And that, you know, it is nice that you do create your own supervillain who is the core of the story, 
but the fact that you still kind of like, okay, now at least try playing as this other character, please. Just to see if they're, <laughs> just to see. You might like them. I mean, this is really cool. Just, I'm just thinking of all the characters I'm going to get to play as. We, we've already seen Lex Luthor, um, Solomon Grundy and Cheetah here. But I'm guessing, obviously, you're going to be able to play as Joker, as Harley Quinn. Um, I think Poison Ivy is in the game. Yes. Like, loads of awesome, awesome characters. And that's the cool thing about, you know, DC. Their, their character roster has... Their villains are as brilliant as their heroes. So the fact that we've got a game that's all about the villains is really exciting. I think uh, TT, so for anyone who doesn't know, TT Games was formerly Traveller Tales Games. Uh, they bought another company and merged to form TT, uh, TT Games. So this is, they've made uh, over 20 Lego titles now. A lot, basically. That does they've been not making, surprise me. Yeah. Uh, and interestingly, um, they also made one of my favourite Sega Saturn games. They made a Sonic R in 1997. Which I really, really like. Wow, you're going back now. Okay, so Lex Luthor's got, like, jet boots. Obviously. That's cooler than a bow and arrow, I think. I know, it? my character, I really, like, the randomizer was not kind to me. And he is also able to... Yes. Do the hacking puzzles. Okay, so when I was playing this, I'd done Hitman, and I'd done quite well, and I, you know, didn't need an awful lot of help, luckily for once. And then I'm, I'm doing <laughs> this, and this nice lady from Warner comes up to me, and she's like, do you need help? I was like... How rude. I was like, love, like, give me a second. Because this, this is not cut. This is me. I'm doing the puzzles fine here. I was like, I know it's busy at E3 and you've got places to go and things to see, but let me have a crack at it. Well, you smashed that. I did, didn't I? You played Bioshock, Holly. You know what you're doing with that kind of thing. I know. I was very... Not, not offended, but I was like, lady, lady. <laughs> I, I can have, handle the, the hacking block puzzle. Thank you very much. I can handle the entry-level hacking puzzle. Uh, if you want to come back in 20 minutes, I'll probably be struggling. That would be great. <laughs> okay, so everyone's done all their special, unique things. Yes. Solomon Grundy's done his smashing. Yeah. She's yep. done her swinging. Lex yep. Luthor's done his jet boot thingy things. And now we can all progress to the next area of the game. Which is huge. Like when We're they going down. Well, when they said it was the open world, like more than they've ever explored, even with the previous Batman games, it, the scope of this is actually really impressive. I mean, this looks... This looks like a nice homey place for a villain. This looks like a super, uh, super, a super villain place. Welcome to my lair. I mean, it's got lava. That's like, you have to have lava. Your character look. I mean, I know. I'm so <laughs> Eye shadow looks like she is in her element there. Well, there we are. There's a brief look at Lego DC super villains. Let us know what you think of the game in the comments. I think it's looking really cool. Can't wait to play as all those villains. Do stay with us because we've got absolutely loads more coming up. So please subscribe and hit the bell too, so you get all the notifications.